Hey everybody, this was an interesting one I just saw. So, new Windows 7 and Windows Server 2008 security updates confirmed. 2008 was a long time ago. And Windows 7 has been end, ended of support for a long time. Let's see what this says. Security updates are very much in the news at the moment. With what a no reboot patch feature for Windows 11 and Microsoft announcement that hot patching will cost at least $1.50 per core for Windows Server 2025 users. Yet, with hundreds of security vulnerabilities being uncovered that impact Windows users and cyber criminals evolving to strike at record speed, the matter of keeping on top of security updates has never been more vital. Unless you are a user of Windows platform that has reached end of support status, such as Windows 7 or Windows Server 2008 R2, for example, there are simply no security patches available for these two platforms. Or are there? I have some good news for you, and if you just can't bear to part ways with your favorite Windows computer, how to get security updates for Windows 7 and Windows Server 2008 R2. So let's take a look at this. The secret to continuing availability of security patches to protect your system if you are a hardened Windows 7 or Server 2008 R2 user has been hinted at in a number of my articles. On March 27th, I reported how a zero-day vulnerability impacted everything from Windows 7, Server 2008 R2 to the latest Windows 11, V24H2, and Server 2025 could be mitigated even, through, even though Microsoft didn't have any official patch at the time. Back in December 7, 2024, I reported how another zero-day impact impacting all Windows users could be fixed using the same method. Those fixes came by way of a micro-patching service called Opatch, the same service that can now save you if you want to keep your legacy Windows system alive and protected. Opatch addresses the vulnerability gap between zero days being discovered and any official patch being released. So this is kind of nice because if, if you like me and you deal with a lot of clients and some of them have some really old servers that they're not wanting to part with that are still running fine. They just want me to do maintenance, keep them cleaned up. Security patches are one of the main th reasons why I would you know counsel them, hey, you might want to do an upgrade on this server so that you can keep security going. But if there's something available like this, then that could mitigate people having to maybe completely upgrade a server that's just absolutely doing what it needs to do without a problem. Um, so posting on X, formerly known as Twitter, the 29th, April 29th, uh, Kolsek, the CEO of Across Security, the company behind Opatch, said... Due to growing demand, we've decided to extend support for Windows 7 and Windows Server 2008 R2 with security patches for another year. Reminder, our security patches are the only security patches existing for these Windows versions. Wow, indeed. So if you're a user of either platform, now is the time to reach out and get those micro patch security updates to protect your system and your data. You only have one other choice, it would seem and that's to remain at risk of attack or upgrade <laughs> more than one choice or upgrade the, the server uh, to a newer operating system if it can handle it or completely get a new server. Um, so those are, uh, it's something interesting in the news because I had the situation where I had to do some research for a client running an older machine, specifically Windows 7. And, uh, and I, he, he was wanting to know about, you know, Hey, is there any way for me to get some kind of security patches or extra security? And I was like, well, we can install some third party virus protection, firewall protection on there for you to, to run on this machine. And that's what I usually recommend to people who want to keep those machines running. If they're just running, you know, the machine for one specific task, if it has to be on the internet, uh, then that's, you know, that's the key. The problem is, is finding companies that are even supporting that OS with a virus protection program. Uh, there's a lot of them that have moved on and said, no, we're not going to put out a new version. There's a uh, few web browsers that are actually updating for it as well. 
very, very hard to find options for the older OSs when it comes to Windows, web browsing, and virus protection. Uh, so stuff like this is really important to somebody who's still running an older machine and hopefully can maybe make it last a little bit longer. Uh, hopefully this news was, uh, you know, helps you out if you're in the market for needing some kind of updates like that. Uh, and uh, if it is, then leave a thumbs up. Uh, if you have no need for this, then don't worry about it. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, you guys all have a wonderful day and bye-bye for now.